Young guys can only hope one day they'll get the money that James Harden is going to get from the Houston Rockets. Let's add four years to, to his deal, bring him up to $228 million through the 2022-23 season, making Steph Curry Supermax seem like chump chain. Other Houston luminaries are weighing in. J.J. Watt tweeting James Moneybags. That's seven money bag emojis that I counted. Congrats, Jay Harden 13. And his new teammate, Chris Paul, tweeted, congrats, help with the ball. Let me hold some of that money. No doubt about it. He dishes dimes. That's an awful lot of dimes. $228 million would be a lot of dimes. No doubt about it. It's 106 degrees outside in Las Vegas. Thankfully, Ramona Shelburne is inside working on this hot deal literally and figuratively, between the Rockets and Harden. What more can you add on this, Ramona? Well, look, this for, the, for Houston is about locking in James Harden for the long haul. And it further it further puts this team in a spot where they are – this is this, this whole thing with Chris Paul is a one-year experiment, right? I mean, I know he recruited Chris Paul, and Chris Paul is happy to be there, and he's tweeting at him, and they're good friends right now. But nobody really knows how that team is going to work. But – both of them were in a situation where they, they have to see how this is going to work before they commit long term. Now this makes it clear that James Harden is the guy in Houston for a very long time. Chris Paul is going to have to earn his keep and they're going to have that experiment has to work. And, you know, as you know, Chris Paul is just he only opted into one year of his deal. So I, I kind of like the way this sets up for Houston where Chris Paul's a one year experiment where they didn't really give up all that much to get him. Um, and now, obviously, uh, Brian Windhorst and, and Adrian Wojnarowski are reporting they're reigniting their, their their desire to get Carmelo Anthony there. I don't know. I, I haven't talked to Mike D'Antoni about that specifically and personally. I have a hard time believing that he's going to really be okay with a, uh, with a reunion with Mike D'Antoni after the way things ended in New York. I used to talk to him all the time in L.A. about how miserable that experience was for him with Carmelo and the Knicks. But, you know, Houston believes that they want to have him there, and obviously Carmelo Anthony wants to be anywhere but New York uh, right now in the way that that season is playing out. No question. It's an interesting dynamic. Tim Kuhn, your colleague in ESPN, the magazine last month, did a profile yeah. on Dan Tony, and Dan Tony basically said, yeah. I quit. I quit in New York because of Carmelo. I, I mean, yeah, right? It's, it's a crazy brutal. situation. <laughs> I want to move on to a team. He's still that you, bruised. I mean, <laughs> right, right. Those things don't die, but clearly in this particular case, yeah. Dan Tony is going to be the heavy. He resurrected his career, turned Harden into the player that could get 228. I want to ask you.